Update on 118.74 and 1 on the season. Let's talk about week 14. Alright guys, we have four weeks left in the regular season. Now we're starting to get an idea of who's going to be in, who's going to be out, and some teams can actually clinch a playoff spot this week. Let's talk about these games. Alright, the first game is Dallas traveling to Chicago. I got Dallas winning this one. This is a must-win game for them. They are 6-6 six and six right now. They're only a game ahead of the Eagles. This is where they have to go on a winning streak if they want to win their division. They cannot afford to slip up this late in the season. Carolina is traveling to Atlanta. For Atlanta, this is the most disappointing team in the NFL this year, in my opinion. They had such high expectations and they just couldn't live up to them. And now they're trying to save Dan Quinn's job. And Carolina, Kyle Allen was off to a great start, but then hit a wall. And it's been an up and down season for Carolina. I got Atlanta winning this one at home. Indianapolis is traveling in Tampa Bay. Indianapolis, they have got to keep pace with the Titans and the Steelers for that final wall for a spot that you're a game behind both of them. This is a must win for them. And Tampa Bay, another team that's kind of been disappointing this year. You thought Jameis Winston would take the next step, but he did not do that. I got Indianapolis winning this one on the road. Miami traveling to the Jets. This is pretty much a battle for a top five pick. Whoever loses this game sets themselves up real nice for a high draft pick in the NFL draft. I got the Dolphins winning this one. Right now, they are playing better than the Jets. San Francisco is traveling to New Orleans. New Orleans, right now, they have the number one seed in the NFC, and they have already clinched their division. Right now, they control their own destiny. And San Francisco, they're coming off a tough loss to the Ravens. Right now, they are the fifth seed in the NFC, so they've got to keep pace with the Seahawks. Unfortunately, I'm not going against the Saints at home. Detroit traveling to Minnesota. Now, Minnesota is coming off a loss to the Seahawks on Monday night. In Detroit, they are still without Matthew Stafford. I got Minnesota winning this one at home. They need this if they want to keep their wild card spot. Denver is traveling to Houston. Houston, that was a really good win against the Patriots on Sunday night football. Really showed that they are a playoff team. And Denver, that was a pretty impressive last-second victory against the Chargers. Looked like the game was going to go into overtime, and then they get the pass interference, and they got the field goal. However, I got Houston winning this one at home. Baltimore's traveling to Buffalo. If you still are not a believer in Buffalo, what is wrong with you? Coming off a really good win against the Cowboys on Thanksgiving, not to mention they've been playing really good all year and just gotten better as the season went on. And Baltimore, right now they have the number one seed in the AFC. I got Baltimore winning this one, but that's only because I think they are a tiny bit better than Buffalo. It would not surprise me if either one of these teams comes out with the victory. Cincinnati's traveling to Cleveland. Cincinnati got their first win of the season last week against the Jets. Cleveland coming off a divisional loss to the Steelers. I got Cleveland winning this one at home over their Ohio rivals. Washington is traveling to Green Bay. Green Bay was able to rebound after that loss to the 49ers. And the Redskins are coming off a win against the Panthers. I got the Packers winning this one at home. Chargers are traveling to Jacksonville. Jacksonville, they have benched Nick Foles and they're going back to Gardner Minshew. And the Chargers, this is one of the more disappointing teams in the NFL. You thought they'd be in it towards the end. That hasn't happened. I got the Chargers winning this one on the road. Pittsburgh traveling to Arizona. For Arizona, again, Kyler Murray just looks more and more like their potential franchise quarterback. He's really had a pretty good rookie year. And the Steelers, after starting 0-3, they have the final wild card spot. They control their own destiny. If they can win out, they're in. Give me the Steelers on the road. Chargers traveling to Oakland. For Oakland, they are coming off two straight blowout losses. And the Titans, they are in it for that final wild card spot. They are right behind the Steelers. I got the Titans winning this one on the road. KC is traveling to New England. For KC, they got some much needed space over the Raiders with that win. Not New England just lost the number one seed. I got New England winning this one at home. Seattle is traveling to the Rams. The Rams, they are back in the playoff hunt. They are only a game behind the Vikings. While the Seahawks, they just took the division lead. And they have the number two seed. I got the Seahawks winning this one on the road. And finally, Giants are traveling to the Eagles. Eagles, they are a game behind the Cowboys. They have got to keep pace with them. And I say they get the job done at home over their division rivals. All right, guys, those were my picks for week 14, and I'll see you next time.